Hello, uh, this is the Henry Morris Study Bible. I picked this Bible up at the Creation Museum in Northern Kentucky uh, this last week. If uh, you ever have a chance to go to the Creation Museum, I highly recommend it. It's a fantastic place for families to go or for uh, someone who's just wanting to learn and study more about God's creation. There's a lots of different exhibits and speakers and different things to do for the family and of course a bookstore and I couldn't get away without actually buying another Bible but I'm very pleased with this Bible. I do plan on uh, putting new ribbons in it as they're thin little cheap ribbons here and also plan possibly to have this thing rebind it. It is sewn so it has uh, I want to say it's almost like a mahogany uh, bonded leather. It's a thick Bible. It has uh, 20, a little over 2,200 pages. And Henry Morris offers, uh, I would call it an apo apologetic point of view. Um, he tries not to be argumentative, uh, but rather Aaronic and dealing with such controversial matters so if anyone who disagrees with a particular uh, point of view will still find the other notes helpful and profitable here is a introduction to the Henry Moore study bible Let's see it's got very I would say uh, probably ten point on the type it's got the books of the Old Testament and the New Testament, and then it's got the annotations. It's got biblical text, creation versus evolution, the logic of biblical creation, outline of earth history and global processes, universal flood, Bible-believing scientists of the past, science and the scriptures, Miracles of the Bible, uh, chronicle, chronological of the Patriarchs of Genesis, quotations, first mentions of important biblical words in Genesis, the deity of Christ, the resurrection of Christ, and uh, we're going to check some of this stuff out here. And again, um, it has an introduction to the Old Testament here, and flip on through here is the first book of Moses called Genesis which Moses I believe he wrote the first five books in the Old Testament and gives a little uh, background of that and get into the text and uh, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth you can see it gives a nice uh, point of view and uh, there's only two two verses there, and he backs up those two verses with all this information. So you can see that a lot of thought has went into this uh, this Bible. Uh, I read somewhere that uh, Henry Morse studied the Bible day and night for 60 years before uh, putting uh, this together for our viewing and learning pleasure. You can see it's got a lot of uh, a lot of information on the uh, text of the Bible, and again, if uh, it's something that you don't necessarily agree with, uh, you you might draw knowledge from it though, and be able to uh, you know get better meaning of what you of what you thought the the text might mean, the scripture, and again, it's very little ghosting um, I would say it's papers really thick and it's good-looking paper and good-looking text here it's uh, actually a lot better better on the uh, the ghosting than some some Bibles that I have and it cost uh, plenty more uh, 
pick this Bible up. I believe it was $74.99 uh, for this Bible. You might be able to find it cheaper on Amazon or through a different bookstore. I was at the Creation Museum where things were marked up a little bit, but it's uh, for a good cause, so I didn't have uh, any problem buying this Bible for 75 bucks. Lots of good information here. Let's flip on through. You can see he offers a lot of information for the text. I believe the the uh, the words of Jesus are in red. We we'll flip on back here. Let's find the New Testament. Yes, Matthew. And as you can see, it's a nice bold red print with uh, with main points in bolded black ink as you can see raise the dead in 10.8 heal the sick cleanse the lepers raise the dead cast out devils freely and as you can see the disciples were even given the power to raise the dead instances are recorded until peter's much later raising a tabitha but the testimony of Jesus heard by John the Baptist in prison may indicate that a number of such miracles did occur. Nice bold red print with uh, scripture backing up scripture where you can turn back and check uh, other parts of the Bible. And... One thing I did uh, like about this Bible was the gilt. Had a very nice, pretty gold. Flip back here to the end of the Bible, show you some pretty cool things. And in the back of the book here John, Jude, Revelation. I'm trying to. Uh, learn revelation currently in uh, Sunday school class we just got through finishing revelation and it's uh it's definitely a book to know I think you get a crown for knowing the book of revelation you want to be able to toss those crowns down at Jesus' feet he can keep the crowns. I just want his glory to be able to spend the rest of my days. Okay, um, this is indexed to major topics, annotations. Appendices. First moments. Fulfillment, deity of Christ, the resurrection, internal design of the in the in the Bible, the creationist faith, and our founding fathers. Over twenty thousand hand copied manuscripts of Greek text are in existence. Over 1,000 hand copied manuscripts. Masoretic texts are available. Evolutionist fruits. Creation versus evolution. The logic of biblical creation. The necessity of creation. Outline of earth history as revealed in the book of Genesis. You get an introduction, authorship of Genesis, the only true account of origins, chronological framework of earth history, attempts to reconcile biblical and evolutionary frameworks, the age of the earth, 
global processes indicating recent creation. Lots of good information here. Lots of good information to teach your children about. I know my kids are interested in creation and they like uh, to learn about Noah and the flood. We've been spending a lot of time on that right now and uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the new Noah movie out, the one that recently came out, but a lot's been added to that movie that's not in the Bible and I know the story of Noah is not heavily detailed in the Bible, but some of it's a little far-fetched, I would think. It's got a list here of Bible-believing scientists of the past. Isaac Newton. Different people here. Some of those names some of you guys might recognize. Notable inventions discovered or developed by Bible believing scientists. The law of gravity, Isaac Newton. The telegraph by Samuel Morse. Morse code. Down here. It's got science and the scriptures, different places to check back and look for different types of science that's in the scriptures and we have alleged scientific mistakes the miracles here miracles of the Bible creation of the physical cosmos Elijah meal in the wilderness creation of order, information of complexity, miracle of providence, creation of biblical life, creation of spiritual life. Healing processes and human bodies is located in the Bible here. Casting out demons, it gives the scriptures for that. Decay processes in human bodies. Plagues and boils, first death plagues, control of bi biological processes, rates and timing, different plagues, Jonah preserved in the well, just lots of cool information. I'm happy to pick up this Bible and I recommend it to anyone who you know, is interested in creation and just knowing all they can. Um, we're supposed to allow the Holy Spirit to guide us, and I believe that is 100% uh, the way to learn the Bible. But also, I think there is nothing wrong with uh, gathering information from other people and comparing it to what the Holy Spirit has showed you and there's nothing wrong with uh, filling your head with more information biblical prophecies fulfillment history of the nations sequence of the empires messianic prophecy the miracle of Israel Well, that's a good information here. I am the eternal self-existent God. You can see it's a very good type here. And very well done. Very well put together. I will uh, spoke to my wife about this earlier. I am going to have this Bible sent off and rebound. And uh, Get some new ribbons put on it, but you can see it's very nice. I want to show you a picture of the, the maps in the back. Science and the scriptures. The deity 
of Christ and the birth of Christ, the birth of life of Christ, the foundation of Christianity, prophecies fulfilled at the first coming of Christ, comparison between cursed world and redeemed world, chronological framework of Revelation, Design of the Bible, Greek alphabet, numerical, the creationist defense of the King James Bible, concordance. Here is the maps. Very colorful, very colorful maps here. The ancient world of the patriarchs. Very colorful maps. Very well put together maps here. The 12 tribes. The kingdom of Israel and Judah. Palestine in the New Testament times. New Testament Jerusalem. The upper city. Court of the Gentiles. North Wall. And here is the ministry of Jesus. Got the crucifixion and resurrection, the Last Supper, the baptism up here on the Sea of Galilee. Jesus walks on the water and quiets the storm. Jesus raised Lazarus. John the Baptist imprisoned down here, the birthplace. Just a wonderful, wonderful map. Uh, probably show this to the kids later. They'll be interested in this. New Testament Jerusalem. And here is Paul's missionary journal journeys, excuse me. Paul, what a wonderful guy. We could all just be like Paul. And that's the end of the Bible. A little bit of here. Thank you for taking the time and watching this uh, video review. It's my first review, so if uh, any recommendations, what I should do better, uh, probably get better with time. But this is my first one and. If you have any other questions in regards to this particular Bible, please do uh, feel free to comment and ask me and do my best to answer any questions. Thank you guys. God bless.